been a while. It's it's been a while, y'all, because I've been really embarrassed to even do some videos because I was like, I'm slipping. Okay, so as you guys know, I was doing my 20 day juice fast, in which I had relapsed on it. Um, Fourth of July, what can I say? And you know, hubby was taking me. I was all types of stuff going on. But um, I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at now. Feeling really confident, feeling really good. Um, but this is an illusion. And the reason why is because I have on a shape, what is it called? A shape sifter, a shape center, or whatever like that. Um, let me get this stuff. Hold on, y'all. got this um from shape city and um this is a seamless waist center girdle slash whatever i saw a lot of you know women with it on and i wanted to see um let me get a step in thing so you guys can see i wanted to actually move so long i wanted to actually see like you know if this is if this thing actually works so if i fall y'all don't laugh at me so as you can see, this is what I'm working with. Now I will tell you, um, I like it, but then I don't like it. The reason why um, I like it because it, it does lift me in. But I do think that I should have gotten a small instead of um, a medium. And the reason why is because it's actually supposed to have like three little prone things on here. And as you can see... I fit all the way to the last. And something told me to get a small, but the way their measurements and everything went, it measured that I should have gotten a medium. And I ended up getting a medium. And now look at me, looking stupid. Well, now I can't say that. Um, and then, you know, one of my, my girlfriends, I was on the phone with her, and she was like, you, you know, you may need to get a medium instead of a small because my daughter's a small. I should have got a daggone small because I just feel like it's not as tight as it should be. Um, I'm sure it's not supposed to, like, cut your circulation off. But, yeah, so, and I want to show you, um... Let me just take it off now. I want to show you. It's hard to put on too, y'all, because it got so many of them things. I want to show you what I actually, what it looks like without it on, and how big my tummy is. Keep in mind, I got my workout clothes on. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to motivate myself to actually get up and work out. So this is what it looks like without it on, y'all. If I fall, do not last. This is what it looks like without it. So I'm not sure if you see a difference. And unfortunately, I went to, um, what is it called? What? Shape City. And I went off of what they basically told me um, my dimensions are. Um, I ordered it on a Saturday. And I'm just getting it today, which is a Thursday, which is really not that bad. Because at first I was like, oh, snap, I'm not hearing back from nobody. Nobody got back with me. It just came in a regular little um, plastic package. And this note came right along with it. So the material right here is very light material. Um, I guess the bar thingamajigs are actually on the inside. Um... And I made sure not to get the latex. And the reason why I didn't want the latex is because, as you guys know, because of my tap scarring, I didn't want anything to kind of irritate them, even though um, it's healing. So I don't know. I don't. I'm excited that I have it, but at the same time, I really think that I got the wrong size and that I should have had a small just to really push it up in there because you, you, you're getting the three. Tears, so you can start off right here. We're not even. This is not even three. This is four. So you can start off right here, then go to here, then go to here, then go to here. I'm already right here. 
So, um, you know, I was in the process too because my sister wanted one to order one for her. She's a large. Um, but I think honestly, this would be good because it is a medium. And then too, um, I thought somewhere on the website they tell you to try to get a size large, um, a little bigger because it comes a little tighter. I don't know. But bottom line, um, I'm not, I like it. I do. I just wish that it was in a much, I just wish I would have. And it's crazy because when you first put it on and you're thinking like, I'm not going to be able to get this around me. But I just really wish that um, they had it in a much smaller thing. Um, excuse me, y'all. I got my sports bra and stuff on. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm sorry y'all haven't gotten back. Not got back, but haven't been doing any videos. Because like I said, I did not really do too good, too well as far as my juicing. I did lose some things. I did lose a couple of inches. I will tell you that I have been very busy um, doing a lot of yard work and out and about. So I will say I've been stretching my legs. Um, now that I'm trying to get back into toning and doing the definition, um, the the finding my arms and things like that. I just need to be motivated. I think it's because, you know, at one point in time, I, I embraced my pregnant body. I wanted the fatness. I wanted the big boobs, the big belly. I didn't care what my legs looked like or anything. I just was so content and so happy with being pregnant. And now um, I'm back to, you know, getting in order and, I'm like, well, let me go ahead and get my sexy back while I'm, you know, trying to get everything right. Um, so, yeah. Um, the other day, I went out and um, actually got some OPK tests from the dollar store and also got um, pregnancy tests from the dollar store. And eventually, later on down the line, when we really start TT singing or whatever like that, I'm going to go on eBay and like kind of get the bulk or whatever like that. So, um, this is my censure that I got. It does push your boobs up a little. But I, like I said, I got the, um, why is my, what's my, I, I got the, I don't know what y'all think. Like I see, I just feel like. It's not, I don't know. I, I honestly feel like I got the wrong size. So I'm going to show y'all again. Hopefully it don't fall. I don't see a huge difference, but I do feel it. You know, I do feel um, a difference or whatever. But I just really wish that, you know, I really wish that this was smaller I had a small size. Unfortunately, I cannot replace it. So this is a medium. Um, you can wear it in a dress. You can work out in it. Um, I wouldn't sleep in it. But, I mean, I do feel like it's lifting, but it should be tighter than this, y'all. I mean, it should be, it should be much tighter than this. I mean, look at all of this room. I feel like it's a lot of room. It's 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 a lot of room under here. But I mean, it's not too loose, but it's loose enough that I don't feel like it's if it's kind of pushing it. So I don't like that. Um, but I'm going to give me another one. I doubt if I'm going to get it from this website. I'll probably find somewhere that's a little bit more cheaper. This one was actually on sale. Um, so I went and got this again. I got this from Shape City, um, and it's non-latex. And I got the non-latex again because you know after the surgery, even though my scarring has healed up, I just didn't want anything to be pressing against it and sweating on it as much as um, getting this type of material. So bottom line, all sales are final, so I cannot exchange it. I cannot switch it, which is understandable because I've already put it on my skin. And it's an undergarment. Um, I'm just a little upset because I don't have this small. I actually have a, um, this is a medium. And something told me, you know, ladies, sometimes you got to go with your gut feeling. If I wear smalls and shirts, 
and I'm fluctuating right now because of um, my past pregnancy weight. If I'm wearing smalls right now and shirts and things like that, then I should have just went ahead and got a small. But I have a medium, so I'm just going to have to work with it. Most likely, um, I'll give it to my sister and see if she can rock it. But um, <sighs> mm, I guess this is, this is what it looks like. Let me try to give you another view of a home. You can see a little bit down there, but... But that's my review for now. Um, again, I am... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Again, I'm going to start... I'm still doing... Off and on my juicing and everything like that. I'm still trying to get up in the gym and everything. And I'm sorry I haven't been doing any videos. But I was embarrassed. I was like, they're going to be like... Mona, you had 20 days to get it together. And you still doing the same thing? So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm back, I'm back, and um, I'm going to start doing more videos or whatever like that, just talking about random stuff. But right now, I, I went ahead and got this center, and um, I like it, but I don't like it. I like the simple fact that I like what it does. I like the simple fact that it has the different prongs, but I ordered it in the wrong size. size. So I don't like that. I do not like that. And the reason why I ordered it in the wrong size is because... Shape City, um, on their actual website, it tells you how to do your measurements. I had to do from right here to right here, whatever. And my measurement said um, a medium. I don't know what the heck happened. I know I haven't lost that much weight since I did those measurements. But um, anyway, this is my review on this particular product. I like it, but I'm sure I can buy find another one on eBay for like 40 bucks or 30 bucks. Um or probably lesser than that. I need a small. So, until then, ladies, I will definitely give you guys an update. I'm going to be trying to do my workout. All right, that's enough for today. But until then, I'm going to be um, giving you guys an update um, of what I'm going to be doing, what me and hubby is going to be doing, and all of this type of things. I mean, I've been finding, like, some great, fantastic things from the special store. Um... And I have one thing right here I got to show y'all. I found me another birdhouse. Isn't this cute? And it's a big birdhouse. If I was a bird, I'd look all up in here and be like that. This is where I'm going to live at. So I found a birdhouse. The only thing is, is that I need to put um, some hooks right here to actually um, hang that up. Um, also, too, well, since I got y'all on here, I might as well show you some things that I got. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so um, some of the things that um, I have actually gotten from this special store. I actually got these cute little wedges. I really like them because it actually matches the outfit that um, I'm going to wear. It's, it's a real professional-looking outfit. And I guess since I can do a video real quick, I'll try the outfit on to show you. But these are Michael Corbs, you guys. Michael Corbs. And um, I got them for a really good price. They were $14.14. And, .14. and at first I was really debating, do I want this shoe? Because it's a five and a half and I'm a six. So I walked around it and I said, yeah, I can take the shoe. I mean, and it, it's in great condition. Now these shoes right here I got at another thrift store. And I got these a while back. I've never worn them. These are brand new. These are BCBGs. And um, they're brand new. I got these shoes, I think, for like $4. This is the highest for any shoes that I've ever paid in a Goodwill or thrift store. So I got that, this. And these shoes are fairly new. I usually look for shoes that are really new. I don't like looking for shoes that are worn down because you never know who wore what and how they wore what or whatever. And I make sure I clean my shoes. Also, I had got this. I got these shoes right here. These tennis shoes for um from the Goodwill. And there's a new balance. And these are brand new. These are brand new. I wore these twice around the house. But um, these are the new balances. And the retail value for this shoe is $150. The retail value for the Michael Corp, um, the wedges, 
The retail value for this is $150 as well. Um, I do not know what the retail value for BCBG, but I would definitely look it up. So you can always find some cute stuff um, in the special store. Um, usually I buy my shoes brand new, but if they're in really good condition or they're semi-brand new, then I will definitely buy that. Also, if you're at a job where you always wanted to dress professional and you want to basically save your buck on... Um, uh, if you want to save some money, um, like far as getting suits and stuff like that, I definitely suggest that you go to a really good thrift store, a special store, or the Goodwill special store. So, I really suggest that because you can find some really, like, couture type stuff going on. You can find some really cute stuff. So, I'm just going to basically um, model off one of, um, what is it called? What is it now? One of my suits that I got um, from the special store, and I really love it, and I think it goes perfect with the Michael Kors shoes or whatever like that. And um, I basically got this this outfit um, under I think thirty bucks or whatever like that. The most expensive thing was the shoes. I'm like really, and I, I get this for free. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and model it off and show you ladies, um, and and basically you can tell me what you think. Okay, ladies, so this right here is one of the outfits that um, I got from the special store. I really like it because it's very um, sunny. Um, the shoes that go with it, of course, I told you the Michael Corps. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Um, and I really like that nude color because it kind of complements the actual shirt. And this is just one of the accessories that I had. I'm trying to do this video um, that you guys can actually see. I'm not sure if you can see the shoes, but what I'll do is do a close-up when I start editing it. But I really like this um, particular suit. Um, it is a definitely a summertime suit. Um, again, the shoes were $14.14, $14.14. $14. The suit was actually $14, but it was half price off, so I actually paid $7 for the shoes. Um, let me try to take this off. And this will go really cute with a nice brooch. Um, it's very professional. Now, the shirt itself was going for, I think, $2, and I paid $1 for it. So, um, I really like it. Um, again, I believe that the shoes, um, they go perfect with it. I want to try to, I think they go, I think the shoes go really perfect with it. I'm going to try to see if I can oop, sneak you in so you can kind of get a glimpse of them shoes or whatever. So, um, so yeah, this is the suit. And again, if you're dressing for success, I, I honestly think that this is a really nice suit. So these, this was one of my great findings. And I always do a lot of suits anyway. And I'm letting y'all know because I like, the, I like going to the special store because it's saving. And to me, it's therapy because you're always looking for something different. And you never know what you can actually find. I mean, think about it. Somebody looks at this. Um, they're gonna think like, oh, she got, she got bread. Oh, she, oh, did you see the suit? Oh my, she had a money. You know what I'm saying? Like people would be like, ah. but you, you know, you want to be confident in it. To me, um, price, it really wouldn't matter if it's even if it is brand new. I would pay for it. But I always get, um, I always, how can I say? I feel really good when I actually buy something that I, I paid little to nothing for. So, um, that is one suit. I'm going to try to put, put another suit out and let you guys know as well. All right. You have my contract. Check. And where is my coffee? This suit, ladies, is off the chain. I'm not sure if you can see me because of the gleaming of the light. But let me step back a little bit. Um, I'm using my cell phone. But this suit is just, it, it just speaks business. Business lady, and she is not concerned. She needs to punch these numbers. She needs to meet her deadlines, or she needs to go to church. 
But, I mean, I think this is a, a great business attire. If you're out with the ladies, I mean, look at the detail of this. Look at that. Look at the edges, the pockets. And this, this was, is actually, that's too much cleavage. Sorry, y'all. This, this is actually made in, um, I think Paris or France or whatever. And I got this, yes, you guessed it, at the special store. Now, I would not wear the shoes that's with it. But let me give you guys a peek of the shoes real quick. Hmm. Not sure if you can see it. I'll show the shoes in a different light. But yeah, this is um, the outfit right here up close. Now, you know. I can't fit it. <laughs> I cannot fit the back of it. But that's okay. That's okay. Because when I lose weight, I'm going to be in this thing. And I'm going to be snug. I actually bought this brand new. And was able to wear it, I think, one time in the house. Then I gained, you know, my baby weight and everything. But I really like this dress. I mean, this this suit. I mean, it's... It's awesome, y'all. I mean, this suit basically says, look, I mean business. Where's my coffee at? Did you, did you even send off the emails? What's going on with the contract? Let's get this money. I like this suit. But it, it, it really, I really like this suit. So this was one of my great finds, too. And like I said, like when you go to the special stores, look for them suits, y'all. I mean, people... They drop off some really nice stuff. And this is a brand new suit. And what I usually do sometimes is I will actually look it up online and see what the retail value for the suit is. The retail value for this particular suit is $400. Probably more. But um, I'll give you the name for it. But I just I really love the detail of it. Um, I wish I could give you guys a better view. And see the buttons in the back, like the arm buttons? I mean, that's sharp. That's sharp. I mean, even if I was to see a sister out with, with something like that, I'd be like, girl, girl, where you get that Diego suit from? But I really like this suit. Let me show you the next one. These are the, um, the actual shoes, Nine West. And they're patent leather with the white trim. And I think I got these for seven bucks. Okay, all right, ladies. So here we have another suit that I really like. Um, I I actually got this from the special store. You guessed it, and I think I paid a total of eight or maybe ten dollars for the suit. I like the shoes that it goes with. Um, or you can kind of match it, match it up. But I do like this suit because um, a base the basic pattern. I don't think you ladies can see me. Let me see. How, and as you can see, it still has the um, buttons on it. So this suit is very much brand new. Um, it's very sharp. And as you can see, I got my little earrings on that goes with it. And um, you can wear a nice brooch. Um, you know, of course, you would wear like an undershirt on it. I mean, I really like it. Um, the way the that V cross is. I'm trying to give you guys. Sorry, y'all. I'm working with myself taping these things. But um, I really like it. It speaks business. This is more so something that I would definitely wear if it's a little, if it's a tad chilly, like a fall type season. Now, the material is really nice. I do not know who, who, who the suit is by, but I would definitely look it up. And um, I would definitely look it up and basically post it so you ladies can actually see let me try to let me try to actually get a an up um a close-up on it so you guys can see so yeah i i like this suit because um it is classy i think it's classy um and it definitely you can wear this suit at um at church you can wear this suit going to work um, brunch with the ladies on a date. I mean, I really like it. It's very versatile, but it definitely speaks business. And again, um, it is brand new because it still has the buttons on here that's attached to it. Um, I think I definitely need to um, 
hurry up and wear this suit because I feel that it's starting to become a little loose on me. It's starting to, it's still comfortable, but you know, I, I need to get some wear out of it before I have to eventually give it away. Um, the type of shoes that I had chose for this, who are these from? GG by H&M. So, um, and I think I got these shoes a while back, brand new, from the special store. You guys did. I think I'm like, Mona, do you always go? No, no, I don't. I mean, I go to other places. But um, you never know what you can find up in there. I mean, yeah, I can go to a Raw, so I can go to a Burlington Co. Factory or Macy's or something like that or Bloomingdale's and get a suit. But why pay all that money when I can get the, the same one for like eight, ten dollars right? And rock it. But I really like this. It speaks business. You know, you're ready to get your day popping. So um, this is another suit that I like. So let me know, ladies, what you think. ladies um so here is the last thing i'm gonna show y'all today because i can go all day but i don't want y'all to be like mona we are so tired okay so this right here i really like this dress i'm actually thinking that i may end up end up wearing this on sunday for um me and my husband's anniversary because we're going out um at lunch um at the church and i, I really like it it's um it's very classy it doesn't show too much of this um and I, I really like it. Right now, the shoes that I actually have on with them, um, these are Jessica Simpson pumps or whatever like that. So I got that for like $10, brand new. The dress too, this is actually, what is this? Oh Lord, I just, what dress is this? This is, oh, I just, hold on, let me see if I can look in the mirror and see what I Yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay, this is Calvin Klein. So, I like the material. Um, the waist center is definitely doing works on this. Y'all, I was able to get in this dress. And I'm, I fit in it. I feel very comfortable with it. I was able to get into this dress by myself. So, I didn't have my husband tugging and trying to whatever. So, I like it. Um, I th Again, I think I got this dress for like $10. The shoes, $10. So this is actually a $20 outfit. Now you see why I like the special store so much. Or eBay and things like that. So um, I'm really thinking um, instead of doing a whole fancy, fancy dresses, we may do that at the end of the season um, before summertime is gone. But I really like this dress. Some cute accessories. Do my hair really nice and, you know, go out for brunch. But um, I really like this. I'm really debating what color shoes I would actually wear with this outfit. You can do black, but I'm just trying to stay a little bit away from black because I already got the black outfit on, so I want something to offset this dress. But um, I really like it. Um, and again, this is um, Calvin Klein. So this is my last review. Um, I'll do some other ones later on. I just don't feel like boring y'all. And again, I'm supposed to be working out. I don't know what happened. But um, until then, ladies, I'll give you some more reviews. Stop to test me. Joe, Joe, I'm my melody. Oh, Rose, we the song of this world. Get back.